Hello and welcome. Today we will be exploring Canva, an online design platform where you can create posters, flyers, invitations, and so much more. Today we'll learn the basics by designing a pizza. So head over to their website, create a free account, and let's get started. Welcome to Make Time. Now that you're signed into your account, look for the Create a Design option in the upper left of the screen. Select the poster template. A new window will open and you will see a sidebar of options on the left and a blank page on the right. At the bottom of page 1 there is an option to create more pages. Create two more blank pages. Next we will create a vision board using designs that already exist in Canva. Type the word pizza into the search bar in the upper left of the screen. Find a pizza you like and drag it to page one. You'll notice it takes up a large amount of the page and has a teal colored box surrounding it. At each corner of the box is a white circle. Click on one of the circles and drag towards the center of the image. This allows you to resize your image when it is selected. Now find a few more pizza examples, drag them to page one and practice resizing. Notice the variety of styles, details and simplicity of each pizza. Some look like icons and some look realistic. Think about how you want your pizza to look. Think about the toppings you want on your pizza. Also, notice how some of the pizzas are designed using colorful geometric shapes and not images of food at all. There are also colorful pizzas that look like neon art. Now we will be prepping our ingredients. Search for a few ingredients using the search bar, drag them to page 2, and resize them to your liking. Keep in mind how you can use shapes in place of images that look like the actual ingredients. For example, a circle can be used to represent a pepperoni, tomato, or an olive. If you want to change the color of your ingredient, click on the color swatch to the right of the search bar, find the color you like, and select it. Select an ingredient and look in the upper right of the screen. To the left of the trash icon is the duplicate option. Each time you click it, a copy of what you have selected will appear on top of the previous one. For each ingredient, make as many copies as you'd like. Next we will design the pizza crust. Using the search bar, find a shape or image you would like to use for the crust and drag it onto page 3. Once you have your pizza crust ready, you can start to add the toppings by dragging them from page 2 onto page 3. Sprinkle them all over your pizza. If you'd like to resize some or create more, feel free to do so. When you're finished adding toppings to your pizza, you have the option of downloading your design. In the upper right of the screen, there's a drop down arrow next to the print posters button. Click on the arrow, download the file format of your choice. Then you can deliver it to a friend or family member that would enjoy a freshly designed pizza. I think I hear someone at the door. Let me go see who it is. Hey everybody, this is Gabe and it's pizza time. For my pizza, um, I like to use simple colors and geometric shapes and um, I put them together to create this abstract pizza. Enjoy! Hey everyone, it's Liz and this is my pizza project. I love most kinds of pizza and my vision board gives some examples. My pizza has onions, bell peppers, and pepperonis. Can't wait to see the pizzas you create! Hey pizza makers, Chef Courtney here. This is my pizza hot out of the Canva oven. I was really inspired by the shape of ooey gooey drippy cheese and wanted to bring all my favorite toppings in my Tom Supreme. Chef's kiss! Mwah! Hey Canva Pizza Makers, I'm Richard and this is my pizza design. For my vision board, I was inspired by the natural golden brown colors of a freshly cooked pizza crust, and I decided to go with making one of my personal favorites, a margarita pizza. I'm excited to see what you all come up with. 
Hi, this is Christy. I think about pizza all the time. When I put together my vision board, I found that I was drawn to more natural looking, imprecise shapes, so I decided to go in that direction for my pizza. My favorite pizza topping is pineapple, which a lot of people have strong feelings about, and I also had to include a little cloud of ranch dressing. What does a pizza of your dreams look like?